Alright guys, I've got another PBR Wi-Fi battle for you. Yes, I am using the Rayquaza on this team. If you don't like it, that's too bad. Nobody cares what you think. So, let's go. I start with my Typhlosion, they start with Electrode. Now, this is a different type of Typhlosion. I don't think anybody has seen a Typhlosion like this yet. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to reveal it just yet, because I actually wanted to switch. I've actually battled this guy three times, and I know his... Uh, his uh, Pokemon pretty well. So I decided to do the second battle first because it shows off more of the Pokemon. I think the first battle only had like one or two. So anyway, I switch out into Rayquaza predicting Thunderbolt because that's usually what he did. And he does Thunderbolt. Rayquaza is going to take that uh, not too well actually. It does about a good third of damage. I'm gonna go for the Draco Meteor. I know that that thing's got a Focus Sash on it, so the Draco Meteor is not gonna be able to kill. So, I hit it with Draco Meteor. It's knocked down to its Focus Sash, and he's going to go for the Hidden Power Ice this turn. And that's, of course, going to take out Rayquaza, because Rayquaza's defenses are very cruddy and it just cannot survive any attacks unless you raise it in its defenses but even with uh, raising in defenses it's still pretty hard to run a Rayquaza so I go back into Typhlosion now this is a counter Typhlosion it's got counter protect quick attack and fire punch for once blaze is active so I'm gonna go for the quick attack because I know explosion is coming and taking a chance with that is just suicide considering Electrode will outspeed me no matter what. So Electrode is down due to quick attack and now I'm going to be facing off against Relicanth. Now his Relicanth is a rock polish uh, rock head Relicanth and I know that he's most likely going to rock polish right away, but just to be safe, I'm going to go for pro uh, uh, protect. Just in case he decides to try and head smash or waterfall right away. So I go for protect. He's going to go for the rock polish right off the bat. So he's going to try and attempt to sweep me with that relicanth. Now, here I have to rely on not getting flinched by waterfall. He's not going to use Head Smash because I guess he wanted the flinch. But anyway, Waterfall would have taken me out anyway if I wasn't focused Sash. But hits me with Waterfall, down to my Sash, I counter. That's going to annihilate his Relicanth. His Relicanth wasn't Sashed. I don't know what it, what it had. Probably had uh, one of those berries. But anyway, Relicanth is gone. His sweeper was taken out. He's got one Pokemon left. And what was it? What was it? Oh, it was a Drift Blim. So I'm going to go for the Fire Punch here. I know that I'm faster than uh, Drift Blim. Most Drift Blims are slow, but they run on Burden. So Fire Punch should have a good amount of power thanks to uh, Blaze being active. It does about half to it. He's going to hit me with Charge Beam. That's going to take out my Typhlosion, which is no surprise considering I only had one point left. But Typhlosion falls, so I'm down to my last Pokemon, and he's down to his. Now, 
This battle, I was actually being a total douchebag, because I knew that my primate could take that out. I knew I was faster than the Drift Blim, and I knew I had enough power to take it out, but I decided just to sub down to see if uh, he would get a crit on me, just to overkill him with Anger Point, which uh, is actually kind of mean and just being an ass. Excuse my language. But, uh... I'm gonna sub down while he just continues to shadow ball me, and that's pretty much all that's gonna happen in the rest of this battle. He's just going to shadow ball while I sub, and that's it, so if you wanna just watch the subbing to shadow balling till uh, I launch Ice Punch, uh, go ahead. If not, then I'm just gonna end this narration here and you can do whatever you want, so I'll see you guys on my next PBR battle.